Okay, in this question, we want to find the integral of 1 divided by x cubed times square root of x squared minus 25. And in order to solve this question, we have to use trig substitution. So square root of x squared minus 25 is an expression similar to what? And it's going to be similar to the square root of x squared minus a squared. So we can say for us that a squared would be uh, 5 squared. So now we're going to say that x equals 5 secant theta. So dx will be 5 secant theta tan theta. And now with uh, this, we will say, we'll just draw out a triangle. And we know that secant theta is equal to x divided by 5. We're simply dividing by 5. And so we can say for secant, we know that is um, hypotenuse over adjacent. So secant theta is equal to x divided by 5. So x is going to be hypotenuse, and 5 is going to be for the adjacent. And since it's a right triangle, we know this term will be um, the square root of x squared minus 25. OK, now we can start replacing x to what we have. So dx first is going to re get replaced with this term. So 5 secant uh, theta tan theta. And this is going to get replaced with this. So we'll get uh, 5 cubed secant cubed theta times um, will be 25 secant theta. 25 secant theta minus this 25 times d theta. And now what we're going to do is replace this with 25, uh, we're just factoring it, 25 secant theta minus 1. And we know that this term right, we know that secant squared theta is a uh, trig identity. So we can say that this is actually 25 tan uh, squared theta, which we still have the square root on. And so, but na now we can eliminate the uh, square root. So what we're going to have is going to be uh, 5 secant theta tan theta divided by this 5 cubed secant uh, cubed theta times, so the square root of 25 tan squared theta, we can say that's going to be 5 tan theta. So now we can cancel all some terms. This 5 will cancel out with this, tan will cancel out with this, and we will be left off with a uh, square root um, secant theta on top divided by secant cubed theta, so we can say that's going to be 1 divided by secant squared theta. We have 5 cubed, that's going to be 1 over 125. So 1 divided by 125. And the next thing we can do is say 1 divided by secant squared theta is equivalent to uh, cosine squared theta. So we'll say that this is going to be equivalent to uh, cosine squared theta, d theta. And now we use another trig identity. So we'll have the 1 over 125, but the trig identity we're going to use is 1 half the integral of 1 plus cosine 2 theta, um, turn to d theta. Because cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1 half parentheses 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So now we can say 1 over 250, um, the integral of uh, 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. Let me scroll down a little bit. And so the next step we want to do is use another trig. Actually, no. Next step we're going to do is simply take the antiderivative. So we'll have 1 over 250. The integral of, of antiderivative 1 is simply going to be theta. And the antiderivative of cosine 2 theta would be 1 half plus 1 half of sine 
2 theta um, plus the arbitrary constant c. And now we're going to use another trig identity for this. So we'll have 1 over 250 uh, theta plus 1 half. And we can say that sine 2 theta is equivalent to 2 sine uh, theta cosine uh, theta. A lot of trig identities in this problem. Plus c. And now we're, we're pretty close. So the last thing we need to do is replace our theta to what we have. So, okay, so we have theta here. So we go to the top. We can say that x divided by 5 equals a secant theta. So we take the um, a, a secant inverse. We can say secant inverse x divided by 5 is equal to theta. So that'll be one term we need. So 1 divided by 250 is going to be a secant inverse of x divided by 5. Uh, 1 half times 2 is going to be 1, so we can cancel that out. Plus, now we want to know sine theta and cosine theta. This is why we use the uh, triangle method. So sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse, so opposite is square root of x squared minus 25 divided by hypotenuse is x, and cosine is going to be adjacent 5 divided by x. So let's scroll down, and we're almost there. So for sine theta, we'll, we'll have a square root of x squared minus 25 divided by um, x. And our cosine, we have 5 divided by x plus c. And this is our final answer. And that's it.